What's going on guys? I'm gonna to talk to you today about something that I was looking for when I was thinking about starting to get into 3D printing a six axis robotic arm and I couldn't really find any information on it and that is what size build volume will you need to print these giant open source robotic arms? All right, guys, what we're talking about today is the Moveo 5-axis open source 3D printable robotic arm. This is a platform that was designed and released by BCN 3D Technologies with the purpose behind it to be a training aid for automation. I think it's really awesome. I'm a data scientist by trade, not in the automation field, but I am surrounded by automation. And I think it's a really great way, a great platform to learn automation as well as for me, I would like to implement AI and machine learning into this robotic arm. So that's my goal with this arm. But when I was looking at this kind of stuff online, I kept trying to find what size build volume I would need because I'm new to 3D printing. And I was actually looking to purchase a 3D printer for this project, I mean other projects too, but mainly I wanted it to be able to print this arm. I couldn't really find that information and you know, if you're new into this, you're probably not going to be able to take that STL file and throw it into a CAD program to see the dimensions. So what I've done is I've actually taken the piece that I believe is should this should be the largest print in the arm and I've measured it for you. So this is actually 160 millimeters across the base by 200 millimeters across the top, which is nowhere near as big as I actually thought that it was going to be. When I was looking at printers, you know, I was looking at crazy high build volumes and I asked a couple guys on Instagram. And they all said, well, you need at least 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter, which, you know, isn't a bad thing to have a bigger build volume, but I'm not sure that you necessarily need that much. I ended up buying the Sidewinder X1 and I love it. So no regrets there. Uh, I think it's awesome. I printed a lot of stuff. I've also printed some stuff for my drone, some stuff like that, and that'll be in future videos. But this thing, just so you know, you know, 160 millimeters by 200 millimeters. And obviously you're going to want a little bit bigger than that probably to accommodate this but that's the size of this part. If any of the other parts in the build are bigger than that, I'll add it in the comments in the next couple days. I'm gonna try and print this thing out. This piece took 22 hours to print. That's at uh, 0.2 millimeters and 30% infill, I believe. So relatively large print, took a long time, but it turned out pretty good. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, seeing the arms stacked up, this is the three pieces right here. So this is the first three pieces and you can see the size um, of this. So it's going to be a substantial um, sized arm. So I'm pretty excited. The goal with this is I'm going to implement some deep learning neural network models and I'm going to train the arm to pick up specific items off of a conveyor belt in a production setting. So that's the idea for this. I'm, you know, I'm just using it as a training aid to implement some more advanced AI technologies in with robotics, um, which is something that I'm new at. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. If that excites you, I'd love for you to follow along with this build. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave any updates in the comments below and there'll definitely be some more build videos coming up. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a like, comment down below anything you want to say, any suggestions that you have. Also, if you have any uh, information about printers and printing this arm, if you've done it, go ahead and leave those down below as well. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell up in the corner so you get notifications in the future. And as always, guys, until next time, try not to work too hard.